Here we are in the first week of May 2024, and that means I have all the data for your market update for the month of April. Let's dive right in and see exactly what the real estate market is doing here in 2024. Hey everybody, it's your friend Kyle Wynn, and if you've never seen any of my videos, I help people just like you buy and sell homes in places like Canyon Lake, Menifee, Lake Elsinore, and surrounding areas. If you have any questions about real estate right now or after you watch this video, you'll find my contact information in the description. Now I am extremely excited to bring you this market update for Riverside County because not only are we going to talk about local real estate market trends for 2024, but we're going to look ahead and try to predict what may happen for the rest of the year. Before we get into all the details, I want to remind you that real estate trends tend to be very local, which means that what I tell you here today might be much different than what you've been hearing depending on where you live or where you get your news. Now, if you get your real estate market updates from national news sources, they tend to describe the real estate market of the entire country as a whole. But the market that I cover here in Riverside County in Southern California will certainly behave very differently. So it's very important to consider local data and trends if you want to be successful as a buyer or a seller in any market. I want to talk about the number of new listings hitting the market each month. In April, we saw just over 2,800 new listings, which is lower than the first three months of the year that each saw over 3,000 new listings. Now, these numbers are very similar to what we saw in 2023, but prior to that, we would expect to see over 4,000 monthly new listings this time of year. Now, this low number of new listings has led to low inventory, so if you have been trying to buy a home over the last year or so, you may be having a hard time finding the perfect home because there just aren't many for sale. Now, some of you will say, well, obviously, Kyle, there are no homes for sale because nobody can afford to sell and trade their 3% interest rate for a 7% interest rate on a house that will cost double what they paid for their old house. Now, to that, I would say in a lot of cases, you are correct, but not everyone is in that exact scenario. Think of people who own rental properties or a vacation home or someone maybe who's retiring and downsizing and can afford to pay cash for their next home. Now remember, contrary to what you see in the news, there is no such thing as a good market or a bad market. The market is always great for someone and they're the people taking advantage of current market conditions. So if you want help understanding if the current market is great for you or not, reach out to me today. You will find my contact information attached to this video. The number of monthly closed sales in 2024 has generally increased each month from less than 1,700 in January to over 2,300 in March, which settled a bit to almost 2,100 in April. Now, over the last 10 years or so, we would expect to see about 3,000 to 3,500 sales per month for this time of year. But today we have a much lower number of homes for sale and higher interest rates that are keeping buyers on the sidelines. Now, another thing to point out is that the number of new listings is higher than the number of sales by about 30%. And this means that it is possible for inventory and days on market to both increase. Now, if those two things happen, we may see some major shifts in the market conditions, but we'll just have to wait and see what happens. The median number of days on market for properties here in Riverside County was 33 days in January, which has steadily decreased every single month so far this year to just 24 days in April. Now, over the previous 10 years or so, we would expect the median number of days on market to be somewhere between 30 and 60 days. So at 24 days, homes are still selling very quickly. Now, I don't know about you, but I find it interesting that the median number of days on market is so low and decreasing. Since the number of new listings is far greater than the number of closed sales, I would think it would tend to take longer to sell a home. Now overall, I think it's fair to say even though the number of home sales are down, homes are selling faster due to the fact that the number of new listings is ultimately very low and appears to be starting a decline. Now also, the springtime is when buyers tend to get more active, so I believe that is a factor as well. Now, I always love talking about month supply, which is how long it would take to sell all the properties that are currently listed if no new listings came on the market, knowing the current buyer demand and the rate at which homes are currently selling. Back in January, we were at 3.1 months, which held steady until it bumped up to 3.3 months in April. Now, this increase tells us that in our geographic location, the housing supply is slightly outpacing buyer demand. No need to worry just yet, though, and I'll explain why. 
The reason this number is significant is that it's one of the best indicators of how the real estate market is behaving. If the month supply is less than three months, we call it a seller's market, which is where we've been for the majority of the last four years. Now, if the month supply is somewhere between three and five months, we call it a neutral market, and over five or six months is a buyer's market. So if the month supply is slowly climbing, and now at 3.3 months, we're just starting to come out of a seller's market and into that neutral market territory where buyers may have a bit more negotiating power and where it may begin to take longer to sell a home and price reductions become more common. Let's talk about one of the more popular topics, which is average sale price. If you've been following me in my videos for some time, you know that the record average sale price here in Riverside County peaked at $711,000 in April of 2022, which quickly dropped throughout the rest of that year and into 2023. Now fast forward a bit, and we started 2024 at $698,000 in January, but that jumped up quickly and ended up at $731,000 in April for a new record average sale price here in Riverside County. Now every year the average sale price tends to peak between April and June, and that is common to be followed by a 5 to 10% decrease throughout the rest of the year. And this is a trend that we see nearly every year, which is why it's typically the best time to get a discount on a home in the fall. Now what I do know is this, with home sale prices at a new record high, with average days on market as low as that is, and with month supply starting to creep up, this is a fantastic time for homeowners to sell if their primary goal is to maximize their proceeds. Back in January, mortgage interest rates were in the high 6% range for a 30-year fixed rate mortgage, which generally increased into April in the mid 7% range. Now, earlier this year, you may have read that the feds may cut rates as many as six times in 2024, but recently we've heard that if anything, we may get a couple rate cuts by the end of the year. Now, this is important information because while the feds don't set mortgage interest rates, mortgage interest rates tend to closely follow their moves. That being said, I know there is a lot of pent-up buyer demand out there, so if mortgage interest rates do decrease, we'll see more and more people jump into the market ready to buy or sell and buy, which could help with inventory as well. So if you've been wanting to buy, talk to your lender or reach out to me today and I'll put you in touch with a couple great lenders who may be able to help you. Now talking to me and a lender now will ensure that you are prepared to write an offer as soon as you find the right home and it will be important to be prepared and be able to act quickly as more and more people enter the market. Well, I know I'm going to keep studying the market here in Riverside County and I'll continue to deliver updates for you. What I do suggest is that you keep an eye on mortgage interest rates and month supply of active listings to give you an idea of where the market may be heading. Well, that wraps up my April 2024 market update, but if you have any questions or need help buying or selling, give me a call, text, email, or drop a comment below, and I will see you in the next video.